Tottenham Hotspur head coach Antonio Conte believes that club captain Hugo Lloris will stay at Spurs beyond the summer, but he has stated it is up to the club and not him. Reports have stated Antonio Conte knows it's very difficult to sign players in the January transfer window, but he does want to see progress. And he wants to sign Traore, De Vray and Frank Kessie. And another report has stated that Tottenham Hotspur are happy to wait until the summer to sign Jesse Lingard. Welcome back to the channel, hope you're all keeping well. In today's video, I'll be going through all of the latest Tottenham news, all of the transfer news, all of the rumours and all of the reports. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news, as well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel. You can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. Now let's start the video by talking about our goalkeeper and our captain Hugo Lloris. Of course he is out of contract at Spurs at the end of this season and there has been lots of speculation in the media whether he will be extending his contract for another year or two. Antonio Conte has been talking about this situation and said he is an important player and I'm sure that the club are going to find a solution for him. I'm not the person that speaks about renewing contracts with players. The club do this but for sure I'm confident about this situation to be a positive one. Now, my thoughts on this, if I'm completely honest, I'm very surprised on the 12th of January at the time of making this video, I'm very surprised that this deal has not been done as yet. And uh, it does worry me slightly that it hasn't been done. Antonio Conte has stated that he is confident this will be done. Uh, but of course, we want Hugo Lloris to sign on the dotted line and stay for at least another year or two. Um, this is highly important, I feel, because all the goalkeepers that we've been linked with in the last couple of months are nowhere near his level. A report has just been published by the Guardian newspaper who have confirmed that the meeting between Antonio Conte, Daniel Levy and Fabio Prasci took place on Monday. It states Daniel Levy returned from the Bahamas at the weekend where he spent time with the Spurs owner Joe Lewis and he sat down with Antonio Conte and managing director of football Fabio Prasci on Monday. It also states in the article that Antonio Conte feels that he needs a centre-half, a midfielder, a right-sided player and a backup striker. And although he accepts that January is a difficult window and the summer is a more realistic time for an overhaul, he wants to see progress. The Guardian newspaper then go on to say that Antonio Conte is interested in three players. Uh, and they are as follows. Wolves star Adama Traore, who can play at right wing back or right wing. Centre back Stefan de Vray, who, of course, uh, Antonio Conte worked with at Inter Milan at the San Siro. And AC Milan midfielder Frank Kessie. And Spurs may prefer to wait until the summer when he is out of contract. Now, my thoughts on this interesting take from The Guardian there, uh, where they say that Antonio Conte accepts that January is very difficult, but, um, you know, he wants to see progress. So it means that he wants to see a signing or two definitely in January. It's exactly how I feel as well. As a club, of course, all of us fans want to see progress um, in this Tottenham Hotspur side. And if we want any chance of finishing in the top four, we do need additions in this January transfer window. So an interesting couple of weeks coming up. A report has just been published by the Evening Standard and they are stating that Tottenham are prepared to wait until the summer to act on their long-term transfer interest in Manchester United star Jesse Lingard. Spurs have considered Lingard a target since Jose Mourinho's time in North London and are now in the race to land the England international when he becomes a free agent at the end of this season. It is thought there will be a number of suitors come the end of the season with Newcastle United having already been linked this month, uh, but Spurs' interest can be tracked back to over a year. 
The report then states that the North London club made an approach to Manchester United and Lingard over the summer window while Nuno Espirito Santo was in charge. Tottenham will be keen to add a creative player with Tongi Ondombele and Deli Ali both on the list of players who could leave the club this month or in the summer. London rivals West Ham United hope to lure Lingard back to the London Stadium this month, but the 29-year-old would prefer to move as a free agent in the summer and a return to East London is looking increasingly unlikely. After a run of nine goals in 16 games for West Ham, Lingard opted against a return last summer and instead wanted to force his way in Old Trafford once more. However, the attacking midfielder has not started a single Premier League game this season and was given just five minutes from the bench in Monday night's unconvincing FA Cup third round win over Aston Villa. Now, my thoughts on this. Um, do you know what? Ever since Antonio Conte come in, and I've said this a hundred times on this channel now, ever since Antonio Conte come in, I've always felt that um, all of the major signings for Spurs and uh, you know the very important signings for Spurs would be in the summer. Every media outlet now is stating and gearing towards the summer. Everything is going to happen in the summer. However, Antonio Conte, I feel, would probably be very frustrated if we don't get any new additions in or very important additions in, in this January transfer window because, of course, the club want him to finish in the top four. The club want him to finish as high as possible in the league and uh, he probably feels that he can't do it with this group of players. In the two months that he's been here, yes, he's been unbeaten in uh, in the Premier League so far, in the two months that he's been at Spurs. You know, five wins and three draws. The first ever manager to be unbeaten in his first eight games in the Premier League. Fantastic. He has improved a number of these players, but he also needs a little bit of help um, in the transfer window. So, personally, I'm really hoping that he does get helped, he does get backed in this transfer window, just one or two players, you know, may make the difference of us finishing the top four or not. So, of course, Tottenham Hotspur take on Chelsea Wednesday evening, 7.45 at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in the Carabao Cup semi-final second leg. Of course, we are 2-0 down on aggregate already from the first leg last week. A dismal display last week. Didn't create very much whatsoever. Uh, so, it's a huge game. Tottenham Hotspur need to give absolutely everything tonight. Please do let me know your score prediction in the comments section below. The match officials for uh, Wednesday night's game, the referee will be Andre Mariner. His assistants will be Edward Smart and Scott Ledger. The fourth official will be Robert Jones and VAR Mike Dean. Thanks, Chris, and hello to everybody watching. I'm Bill from Football Prizes. I'm just here to tell you about the weekly Spurs prizes that we run on the site. Some of our previous Spurs prizes range from the likes of signed shirts, and boots, and mounts from players such as Harry Kane, Son Jong Min, and Lucas, right through to club legends like Paul Gascoigne and Jurgen Klinsmann. You can watch the live draws on our Facebook page and you can go on our site and see the previous Spurs winners as well as what prizes we have to offer at www.footballprizes.co.uk Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do let me know all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell where YouTube will notify you every single time I upload a new video. Enjoy the rest of your week. Stay safe and well. I'll see you in the next video. Come on, you Spurs.